What's what? going on, guys? It's oh. Nadine. Omar. Oh, Omar. Omar. Salam, Mike. Here. You don't even know who, whose house you're in? I don't know. You're like, come from a video. I know if it was for well, Omar. Hey, what's for up? You? It's it's Bart Kwan. I thought we were doing a collab here. What's up? It's Alan Thrall. Oh, shit. Okay. Who's your who's favorite? Uh, who's my favorite? Yeah, fitness YouTuber. Um, Silent Hamidi. Oh. I like Nadim Mike. Nadim Mike, yeah. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, Nadim from LA. LA. You're from the Bay, though. I'm from, yeah, I'm basically from south of here. Yeah. But which he took. Is still NorCal. Yeah, he's NorCal guy. He, he, Bay Area. But he's living in LA. He took his private helicopter up here just to shoot this video for you. So give this thing some thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe. Check out his channel. Tons of delicioso food. He's cooked for me a couple times. We'll, we'll call you this. I'm going to call it right now the Steak Master of YouTube. Thank you. That's what it is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Steak man. Steak, steak. Steak man. Yeah. I'm an ass man. He's a tit man. You're the steak man. Yeah. Everybody eats. Gotta eat. So check it out. Um, today we're gonna cover a cool story that we found, I think randomly, uh, yeah. Naz was showing it. And uh, it's really interesting to me because you hear stories about this all the time from normal people, but you don't hear about it, about what we do. So we both have powerlifted for a very long time. You hear about it, but this is what, before we get into the story, what we all dream kind of, to have happened. Kind of, I kind of get like excited reading about it, like yeah. what would I do? So my man, Ryan Belcher, who's a power lifter, I believe from maybe Michigan, um, competitive power lifter, power lifter for a very long time. I believe he was at his house or his place of work and hears a car crash outside of his house. He immediately jumps outside, starts running towards the accident, finds a lady uh, bleeding out a little bit, uh, quite bloody. He says he gets a response from her, asking her if she's okay. She says she is okay. And then he quickly notices an upside down Jeep with a man trapped half underneath the Jeep. Yeah. And he begins to push with everything he has, lifting the Jeep and allowing the man to come out. Now, both people in this car accident did uh, have severe injuries, but no fatalities in this thing. And imagine if you're caught underneath a freaking huge Jeep, yeah. uh, that, 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 that the longer you're under there, probably the more smushing and bleeding out you're gonna do. Yeah, yeah. Um, and he got there before what it sounds like, the police and professionals, et cetera. Oh, which like Nadine said, this is kind of what you like, you kind of dream for sometimes. Like uh, one, you want to, I think humans or men or, or women, all of us want to test, like, do I have fight or flight? Yeah. Like everyone says like, yeah, I'm going to go, I'm going to go in that. Yeah. But you don't know until it happens. And then two, like we're lifting weights and we're training and hopefully we got stronger and hopefully all these things we've learned to control our bodies in certain ways. But finally you can put it to something useful where a barbell is just a made up tool for us to lift. Yeah. That's insane. Cause it's like. You always, like you said, like the fire or flight, like what are you gonna do in that situation? And he was saying that like, he saw it, like he, he just instinctively like just had to go out and help, you know? Uh, assess the situation, which is the biggest thing where um, a lot of people, cause I've been, I've been in areas where there's been a lot of like accidents and stuff, yeah. and everyone's freaking out or everyone wants to take control or everyone wants to do this, but the biggest thing is calming people down uh, and making sure the situation gets so it doesn't get out of hand. Right, right? communicate rather than causing more chaos to the yeah. situation. Uh, I've heard a lot of stories of these, like these growing up. Uh, I think my mom would tell me these stories about how powerful adrenaline was. I was a hothead growing up, and so like I would just have tons of emotion when I did things. I'm just, and still I have that passion, I just control it a little bit better. Um, but playing sports or, or whatever it might be, I was really intense. And so my mom would tell me like how powerful uh, intensity and adrenaline is when it's controlled. Because there's yeah. stories like this, and I don't think they're as well documented, but you've probably heard it. Everyone heard it like a mom and a baby being trapped under yeah. a car and a mom lifting a car just a regular yeah. lady lifting a car so let alone you know this big old power lifter who gets in this like i wonder if we asked him now like hey bro how heavy was that jeep he'd probably be like not that heavy well he said in the video because we were watching the video from the news club basically saying like uh he didn't know how heavy it was and that helped him because i feel like once you attach a number to it yeah. oh, i haven't done this number i've only done this. 600 yeah but a car's a car like if you're doing stuff like that it's like it doesn't your body is capable of a lot more. It's your mindset that limits you. For sure. And then and then you have the adrenaline and then you have somebody else's life at hand. And then if you do have the fight over the flight, which I don't know how well science or documented fight or flight is. I'm sure it's a spectrum like everything else. I'm yeah. not sure like you're just a sissy and you run away from action no, no. or you're a yeah, yeah. hero when you run towards it. Um, but shout out to this guy. And even afterwards, he said, uh, I believe he was quoted saying, basically, uh, I'm just happy that I, 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 I did have the urge to go and help. I'm just yeah. happy that I did and go did something because he, he did uh, potentially save this guy's life, which is absolutely uh, insane to me. Yeah. The, the cool thing is like, 
I, well, I think the biggest thing is making sure that, like I said, be safe when you go out. Because uh, you hear also of the opposite where people try to be a hero and, like, say, a car slipped on the highway and they run out and they get hit by a car themselves, you know? Yeah, yeah or a fire. Like, if you don't know anything about a house or a fire architecture, yeah. you just see someone fire and just run in, uh, you know, all acts of days ago. Like, yeah. that's not going to help either. Yeah. You're going to kind of have to think things through. And luckily, uh, it seemed like this guy's a little bit older. Uh, he, yeah, like, you know, like he has a brain. He's doing, yeah. yeah, he's got a brain on his shoulders. Um, and the cool thing is just, like, the the want to help other people for sure it's like it's not in many people that you meet these days i mean i feel like it's humanity in, in, in itself is good but there's a lot of people that i just see it and they're like oh cool they pull out their phones like yeah. oh crazy accident they wait for other people to get there but it's like um like assessing the situation do we have time for like the ambulance to show do we have things is the is the car on fire what's going to lead to it it's just like being there for your fellow human and making sure that everyone's hopefully gonna live you know is there any instance that your strength in the gym or your training over the years because you played football you wrestled and then powerlifted for a long time now uh is there any time in life where your strength has translated and maybe not to this extreme uh, but like you're like oh i probably couldn't have done that if i didn't train i think definitely like with helping people move and stuff or yeah. like that i mean it's, it's not like saving a life or no anything, no i was gonna say the same when people are like yo like i need help doing this and then they're like oh i can't lift over one of the girls like hey can you move this yeah. and i'm like and i literally grab the box like this and they're mm. like How'd you do that? I'm like, and they're like, oh my God, you're so strong. I'm like, it's not that heavy. Yeah. But then I have to be like, oh, you know, I've just been working. Like, <laughs> yeah. No, stuff. that's the same with me when my, uh, it's like small like that, but my mom, she lives by herself. She yeah. doesn't have a lot of family here and she'll need like a big, she's really into gardening. And so she'll have like these huge pots and they are pretty heavy, but like I can find a way to wiggle around or get, and then she's getting a little bit older. It's not like she can lift this thing. It probably weighs 200 pounds, but it's an awkward shape, yeah. but I can lift it onto the dolly and kind of move it for yeah. her. It does feel good to be able to use it rather than like just put it on Instagram and say, yeah. hey, you did lift it 500. Yeah. yeah. Like I've been in situations uh, many times, but like oh, one of the most recent one was uh, uh, something like this where I was driving straight, there was a car in front of me, and then they made a left, and it was like one of those merge ones, and there was a car coming straight, and it was a, uh, they didn't wait for the car to basically pass them before they made a straight, and bad accident, right? Um, luckily nobody got like crazy injured, but then uh, immediately like, I, I made a U-turn, and I went and tried to go out. Um, I see what was going on and I saw it so like if the police came I'd be like yeah, yeah like these people fucked up um, and then the the part the car that made the accident was a bunch of like these old Asian people right and then there was an uber driver driving full car full of people and they're like um, like 20 like in the 20 is like white guys and like I think they just came from like a bar or something and they were like heated about what happened but then one was like really badly hurt like a broken arm or something yeah um, and I just came out, I had a blanket in my car and there was like a lot of grass area. So like, I like laid him down and I made sure he was cool. Uh, but they were like getting really mad. I was like, hey, like, like I was there, I saw they messed up. Even the Uber driver was like freaking out of those people. I was like, hey, like you're not helping the situation. Yeah, yeah, getting mad has never helped anybody. Yeah, I was like, hey, like, uh, like I saw it, I'll help you guys out. Like just sit down for a minute, like let's, let's calm down, yeah. let's wait for police to get here. Cause adrenaline can make you do things like that too. Yeah. Like if they're not hurt or maybe they are hurt and they don't even know or whatever, but yeah. they're just they're like, they're already a little upset because yeah. they got hit. Now that the adrenaline's kicking in cause you just got smashed by a metal object. Yeah. And now they're freaking out. And yeah. like you said, and uh, it's, it's like, good just to try to chill them out. Yeah, like, like just try to find out exactly what happened but like relax first you yeah know? yeah that's like the biggest thing calm people down and making sure like because it was getting to the point where there was about to be a fight yeah you know yeah no uh, good which is then, just gonna make the whole thing worse yeah because like the other side they didn't know i mean in an accident you never like oh yeah i was wrong right you, know? you always want to try to play that part um luckily like obviously the what happened was like there was no way for them to be like wrong in that situation the people that are right um but also those witnesses yeah yeah so it's like i was just like okay like we're good on that side we know you guys are gonna get in trouble but let's not make it get worse yeah. beyond this accident the insurance you know? isn't going to care about this fight right now yeah we'll deal with paperwork later yeah yeah dope what are some times uh or are there times that you guys kind of use your fitness and hey, maybe it's not powerlifting maybe it's running or who knows what uh in real life situations because it does translate and people say like well uh, this isn't functional and that's not functional but if you deadlift a good amount and you do it often you are going to be stronger than someone who doesn't yeah. uh, moving any object so uh, let us know in the comments below be sure to check out nadim tons of food uh maybe even some fitness here and there maybe some sketches here and there he's also got a podcast out on youtube check that stuff out i appreciate you guys i'll see you next monday Thursday, check out my podcast, 50% podcast, uh, 50% facts, iTunes, Spotify, anywhere you want to check it out and Twitch every single day. We're live streaming. Catch you guys in the next one.